She was calling for him. That's the only one that allowed her to scream at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we're here at the Dog Psychology Center in Calabasas with El Señor Cesar Milan, the Godfather. I call him the Dog Father. The Dog Father, the but dog we're not in Calabasas. Oh, Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita. Me dijeron Calabasas. <laughs> We're close, we're close. We're close. It's That's still right. hot, it's still hot. It's, it's still hot. And there's That's one right. of his uh, pack doggies. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna drool all over you. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. My doggy drools all over the place. Yeah, what, what, what do you have? I have a husky mix. Okay. And he needs a lot of work. And following you around your beautiful area here, I'm a bad mom, it turns out. I'm doing all the wrong things. <laughs> yeah, you, did you realize that? Okay, that's I good. think I'm spoiling like my dog, like my husband tells me. Mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. Now I know. What did, what did your husband say? That I'm spoiling my dog. And what do you do? Because I let him do what you Well, to, you... yo soy la dueña en la casa. Like in the house, uh -huh. he's good. But outside the house, he's okay. bad. Who, your husband or the dog? Well, both. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but then Actually, when you said the house thingy, it was like, soy la doña de la casa. Soy, bueno, las dos cosas. <laughs> oh my I'm goodness. the alpha. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, outside, I mean, he, he walks me. I don't walk him. Right. You said peeing all over the place is bad because they're territorial. They're being territorial, right? D don't you agree? Or oh, yeah, because he's aggressive outside the house. That's right. So that's what's going that's right. wrong at my house. Aggression, I mean, be careful with the word aggression because, you know, it just creates a lot of fear. He's territorial, he's Territor dominant, you know what I mean? Just, you know, you, Very you protective. Can, you know, like when Beyonce walks around, she's pretty dominant, you know what <laughs> I mean? So she's Queen B, you know, and she's territorial of her house, you know, she's territorial of, of her family. She's not aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, my dog's not aggressive. Yeah. It's just like he's very protective. He doesn't right. let, at nighttime, he doesn't let anybody near me at night. Not even your husband? No, no, no. Strangers. Okay. Strangers okay. at the well, park. That's normal. Yeah, and in the, in the day, he's fine with strangers as long as they don't run by or close right. enough. Because move they're like, too fast. Move too fast. That's right. Because, you know, I know yeah. he's my, my protector. Right. But sometimes in the drive-thru, forget it. Me da vergüenza. He's like, rah, 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 rah. I was like, I'm sorry. Well, I'm because sorry. the are too, too close. Because he thinks that too something's happening right, and maybe right. my husband, when he talks in the raised voice, so I tell him, don't do that when we go through a drive-thru oh, yeah, because he thinks you that your aggression is towards the person. Wow. You know? So I have to control the whole how you talk. You know, the funny part is when, when I first started with my first consultations, people used to tell me, don't say the word ball, spell it. So people <laughs> have to control. Like what you're saying is like we have to control the way we speak around our dog because he can take it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So talk about who's controlling the house. Yeah. Or yeah. the, the car. But he's a sweetheart. He loves playing soccer. Soccer? <laughs> oh, that's good. He has, a, he's, he has a weird habit. He won't eat until we play ball first. Okay. So we have to play ball, and then he goes to his dish. But I, my husband says because he doesn't like the food, so it makes me work for it. Because <laughs> we give him a kibble. But do you have human children or no? No. Okay. So no. he's he's the one. He's our feel, child. He's the one we're feeling. He's bad. our child. But we treat him like a dog. We don't treat him, you know. Kind of. We call him our son, but yeah. you know, I know he's got. They say dogs are on a schedule, right? Yeah. Like they have. Like he needs to play ball before he goes to eat. Okay. Well, yeah, to he be, needs to burn energy. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him. Right. Yeah. But we're here at your beautiful place, mm -hmm. and I love the decoration. And you're a orgulloso mexicano, yeah. like myself. My mom's from Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It just feels so at home. And Thank you. Can you talk about why you wanted to make it like your home? Because that's where I'm from. You know, that's that's what you said at home. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's what I I, I I was raised. That's uh, that's where I I I learn what I know. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, America has given me the opportunity to become the best in the world, but Mexico made me the best in the world. You know, so it's a combination of both. I love the structure of America. You know, I love how clear uh, uh, they like to be, you know, and uh, how they're always thinking about the future, <laughs> you know. So I do embrace America in many different ways, you know, and, but definitely to know where I'm from, my, my raíces is super important, mm -hmm. you know, because it's what fits my spirituality. Yo aprendí uh, mi fe en México. Mm -hmm. Yo aprendí mi amor en México. Mis instintos son mexicanos. Mi inteligencia es americana, pero las tres otras cosas son muy mexicanas. Mm -hmm. No, I know. I mean, my, there's no white wall in my house. Everything's colorful. <laughs> I was raised here. I was born and raised here, but I'm really... It's just, it's, it's like tranquility, no? Like the colors and just, it's such beautiful art. Alegría. Es mucha yeah. alegría. Es mucha alegría. Es, es unas raíces muy grandes, no? Mm -hmm. Somos una, una, una cultura de miles 
de miles de años, ¿no? Eh, comparado a otras culturas que son 200, 300 años. Nosotros tra ya traemos unas raíces enormes. Entonces, el, el saber de dónde vienes es muy importante estar orgulloso porque pues, alguien se sacrificó para que tú estuvieras aquí, para que, you know, para que cambiaras de, de cultura nomás porque estás en otro lugar. Pues como que no, no, tiene, no tiene chiste, no tiene razón. It doesn't make any sense, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so that's why you feel Mexico, but at the same time, it's wherever I go in the world, like over there is Costa Rica, Peru, <laughs> you know, you, you have uh, Malaysia, it's, you, you, got have, Buddhas, ca you have Buddhas, you have Africa, you know, the Serengeti. So uh, uh, this, this place really represents the world. I really want to bring everybody from, the, from uh, anywhere in the world so they can see that a dream can come true, mm -hmm. that, that we can become better humans. You know, that if we follow a certain philosophy and, and we create a certain community, and this is the blueprint of how I, I, I visual the world, I, I, how I visualize the world, you know. So I needed to have a land where people can come in and say, this is a city. The you serenity know? to this, me. That's, <laughs> that's right. The, ci the city has the serenity, mm -hmm. you know. The land has that. The, I want the land to speak. Yeah. I want the people to speak. I want our philosophy to be seen. You know, so those are the three three things that I share for people, which the rest of the world, you know, uh, don't practice it that way. So I want people to see it at least once in their life, you know, because I do want the world to, to become a better better humans for better dogs. And that brings us to your show, the new show on Nat Geo, Nat Geo Wild, Better Human, Better Dog, and it's so true. Yeah. Uh, some of the bad habits we get from humans, right? Yeah, so the, the bad habits from a dog come from a human. Mm -hmm. You know, their, their, their dog parents were never teaching bad habits. They can't afford to have a kid who misbehaves. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's no way in the world that would raise a mm -hmm. child to break rules by limitations. Mm -hmm. We are the only species that raises uh, dogs or children to break rules by limitations. Mm -hmm. Or postpone happiness, mm -hmm. or, or love unconditionally, you know what I mean? Or, or, or live uh, in a healthy way, you know? To, so, so, yeah. So you're gonna focus on the human. I always have focus on the human. Oh, yeah, that's true. This show that's is true. going to make sure that the, just by the title alone, mm -hmm. that we are focusing on the humans. I always say, you know, I train people rehabilitate yeah, dogs. Like it's your dog. You're the yeah, one that reacts. Yeah. To we can't blame the dog. Yeah. They don't rationalize. Right. Nobody will blame a child that is from birth to three years because they don't rationalize. Mm -hmm. Not even, you know, we blame five-year-old kids. So a dog was always going to be in a two-year-old mentality because they don't rationalize. They become mm -hmm. more powerful, mm -hmm. you know? So Akira, that is a six years old, way more powerful, mm -hmm. right? But he still not, doesn't rationalize. Mm -hmm. So we can never blame a shark, we can never blame a crocodile, we can never blame a whale, we can never sure. blame a gorilla, we can never blame not even a parasite, you know? Because they don't rationalize. So if we don't blame none of that, we should never blame Memba's friend, which is a dog, but that's the one that gets the blame, Yeah. you know? And that's the one we love the most, you know, but that's the one we blame. So it's like this show is definitely going to remove some of that uh, uh, lack of knowledge or, mm -hmm. or wrong perception about certain things. We're in 2021. Jeff, Jeff Bezos just went to outer space. So if he achieved that, I'm going to be able to achieve my knowledge on Earth. Yeah, that's what we need. More work on Earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go and have it you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's so much money. With all that money, I would have used it to give up my education to all the kids in the world. That's a lot of money. I understand. He's doing his own thing. But for me, my, the, uh, my motivation is the education. You know? And I want next generation human, which is the kids, to learn what you learned today. Mm -hmm. you know? For all the schools to, to replicate some of this. You know? for, for all the teachers to teach calm, comfort, love, and joy. Mm -hmm. To make sure you know, they have honesty, integrity, and loyalty. You know? To create trust, respect, and love among the kids. To practice exercise, discipline, and affection. We will have a much better generation. He's got all the answers, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, really quickly, you got your dog pack here. Mm -hmm. Do they go home with you or yes. do they stay here? No, no, no. This is, this is not, none of the dogs that stay here. All oh. the animals go, including, including my girl. That's, she's yeah. so beautiful. Yeah, she beautiful. is definitely. That's, a Malibu jealous. rescue from the fires. Yep, and that's my girl. She beautiful. doesn't let no one get near me. She was calling, she was calling for that's him. That's the only one that allowed her to scream at me. <laughs> 